Recently, I heard an analogy of faith and trust in God as rather like a trapeze artist. And if you could imagine, um, the first part is when you're holding onto the bar and you're swinging backwards and forwards, you need to know when to let go, fly through the air, and then either grab the bar coming towards you or grab onto your partner's arms and they will whisk you onto the next part of the act. And often we are, it's very difficult to let go of things, and especially perhaps during this lockdown um, when we've had to let go of so many other things that we liked doing and perhaps a few things that we still are able to do, we just want to hold on to them because they're the only stable things that we find. But I think the time is coming when we're going to have to do things in a new way. And God has got good plans and new plans for us as we move into the post um, lockdown um, restrictions and we are able to do new things for him. So are we holding on to the bar? And if you can imagine, if you're holding on, holding on past the time when you should be letting go, your muscles will be tense. You won't have the um, agility to let go and grab onto a new thing because you'll be saying, oh, well, it's so stiff and I know it and you'll miss and you might, it might go through your fingers. There is an optimum time to let go. And so we need to listen to God and he will tell us when to let go so that we will be a peak of spiritual growth to be able to grab on to the new things that he is bringing our ways. And if you imagine freeze framing um, that trapeze act and you find yourself flying through midair, you've left the bar behind and you've not yet been grabbed. And often we fear that moment. It could be just a moment. It could be a longer moment. And sometimes it could be quite a while when we're waiting for God to come and take us on to the new things. But if we don't let go, we can't then go on to the new things in life to serve him in new ways and share his love with others in new ways. I just want to share with you a few verses from um, Hebrews 12, which says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. Throw off everything that hinders. Stop clinging on to things that are making us weary and tired. Run with perseverance or fly through the air, waiting to be um, grabbed by the Lord to be used in service in new ways. And let us fix our eyes on him. He is the way the truth and the life. And we need to fix our eyes on our head, not looking at our hands, not looking at what's gone behind, not looking at the bottom and fearing. We need to have trust in God that he has prepared good things for us. So as we consider today, what are we clinging on to? What are we fearful of? But trusting that God has new things for us to leap into, to serve him and to know him and share his love with others. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you, you've kept us going up till now. And we pray that you would tell us when to let go and when to be ready to leap into new things, new ways of serving you and new ways of sharing your love with others. Lord, help us to be in our peak of spiritual activity, to be able to Grab hold of all the new opportunities that will come our way. Lord, help us to trust you every day and to walk in your ways. We give you thanks that you're always with us. We do not need to fear and we can always trust. And we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.